Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Roberto Rodriguez, and this is Detail Culture, and today we're going to talk about Lithium Ceramic Slam. So let's get into it. All right, so I really do like this product a lot. Uh, the reason why this got my attention, because I watched uh, Chicago Auto Pros on YouTube when Jason was doing a, a vehicle with, like, ceramic coatings on one side, a bunch of them, and then, like, uh, ceramic ceilings on the other side. And when he was doing this, this product really stuck out to me uh, because it was, it was the cleanest panel. I mean, the car was dirty, but it was the cleanest section out of that panel. And it, it just still uh, was hydrophobic after, I think it was like six months, I believe, in the video or something like that. And like I said, it really stuck out. So I'm like, oh, you know what? I got to get this because I want to be able to provide good products to my customers. You know what I'm saying? So, And that's the detailer's job is to make sure that their customers are getting you know, it depends on where you want to go, but the way I want to go is I want to give my customers the best products that last the longest, you know what I'm saying? So keep their car cleaner for longer, stuff like that. So this right here, it is a, uh, it says last six to eight months. And I looked on the website, it said 12 months. Um, so I don't know if there's a, a new uh, version of this or not. Um, but like I said, um, you can double stack it. So you can just put one layer on and then on the website it says, Oh, wait eight hours for it to cure and then you can put another layer on if you have time for that cool but if you don't you know a six to eight months should be good you know what i'm saying so it should be easy to clean and easy to maintain and before you put anything like this on your car's finish um you definitely want to clean your car thoroughly you know what i'm saying so you know wash it decon it um clay and polish if you want to go that route you know what i'm saying but make sure your finishes are clean before you apply this to make it bond to the finish for longer and this can also be used on trim glass and paint you know headlights taillights whatever so you can use it also it's very versatile so that's really cool and uh, I use this on this uh, Chrysler I detailed not too long ago guys just, just trying to sell it so I just washed it deconned it and then I just dried it and applied this on and it turned out really nice I got some pictures right here and just just how the shine of it was just amazing I really like it and you can use this as a standalone, which I did on that car, or you can use this to protect your ceramic coatings. After you wash your car, you can just put this on for a topper. It'll definitely work as well. Um, it is not exactly expensive or not exactly cheap. It's mid-range, so it's like $40 for 16 ounces. But um, you can use, or how I do this, I just put it on the car, and I go around the whole car first. You know, I start with the hood, and then I go around the whole car in a circle. And it says just, just leave it on for five minutes and then buff off. So like I said, I just go around the whole car. After that, should be around five minutes. Sometimes I just let it sit for a little longer. And then it's really easy to buff off, like super easy. And then after that, you're done, which is really nice. And the reason why I like this too, because I've used some other products that attract dust to the vehicle's finish. And I don't like that. Especially with me, I live in Poissippi, Wisconsin, so I live in the sticks. Uh, so there's some dirt roads around where I'm at. So if I put that on a customer's car and they get it detailed and they drive it on the dirt roads and all of a sudden all the dirt just stick into their vehicle, you know, it's, it's not going to be good. So I don't like using products like that. I haven't had an issue with this one. So it works very well. And I hope you guys like this because, like I said, you can get it at um, Car Supply Warehouse. And like I said, it's like 40 bucks. And, you know, if you're using something a little more expensive, charge accordingly to your for your services, make sure you make a profit of what you're using and just record how much you use per vehicle. And I had done two vehicles and I've used just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Not much. So I can probably do a lot more vehicles with this. So with that being said, hope you guys liked the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. It does help the channel grow. And I do like making videos to help other people out. So definitely do it if you can. Only, all right, only if it, if it benefits you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, that's cool. I just appreciate the time you're watching the video. So, all right, I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all have a good one.